Hey everyone, I'm Charitha. Welcome to my channel. I'm planning to post some useful information for students and young professionals. I myself work in finance. I know exactly what it takes to become a confident presenter, especially numbers, graphs and charts. Explaining business story in numbers is a key skill we need to master. And that's the intro. Let's get down to business. Okay. This is very common chart type and I'm pretty sure that you've been preparing and using bar charts in your day-to-day -day office work. Let's see how we can explain this chart. This bar chart shows the sales figures in millions of product A in three districts. Sales in Kampaha remain fairly constant over the four quarters, generally hovering between 50 million and 75 million. Most notable is the slight drop in the third quarter and that's the only time sales went below 50 million per quarter in Gampa district. You also can see Colombo sales increased steadily and a dramatic increase in quarter 3. Kalutara district performed well however can notice a sharp drop in quarter 2. This is another very common type of a chart. This pie chart shows the sales in millions of four different products in 2020. Product A is the biggest seller, selling 50 million units. They are followed by product D at 25 million units. And closely after that, product B with 20 million unit sales. The least popular in 2020 is product C with only 10 million unit sales. This line graph shows X company's revenue over the course of a year. First three months shows steady increase in revenue. However, you can see a sharp drop in next three months and then a plateau. Starting August, steady increase can be seen till towards the end of the year. So, these are the vocabulary and collocations I used in previous slides like remain fairly constant, slight drop, dramatic increase, went below, increased steadily, a sharp drop, plateau, I thought of uh, summarize them into one or two slides in order to remember better. Uh, remember, same as we explain or simply describing graphs and charts, we should know how to compare the results and draw conclusions from them. I haven't focused on that particular point in this particular video, however let me know if you guys need any help these are some more vocabulary and collocations you can use to spice up your finance presentations like fluctuate reach and all-time low bottom out a significant decrease or increase a sudden drop or increase a slight decline or increase a huge variation so each day I would suggest you to choose one chart or a graph and focus on that particular chart or graph. Learn the language and words you need to explain it. Just a point to students here. Studying something doesn't mean you know it. Sometimes you incline to judge by yourself that I know that. But the fact is, no you don't. Learning is not a linear progression like uh, going up the stairs. It's more or less like an up and down approach. Therefore, do practice a couple of times in every single day until you automate these expressions in your head. Oh yes, that's pretty much all I have to share in this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Learning a skill or language takes time. 
therefore be patient and commit yourself to lifelong learning bye bye see you again thank you